dear students at the end of previous lecture we discussed a method for checking the phase sequence of incoming alternator with respect to the phase sequence of infinite bus bar remember we were discussing the necessary conditions for synchronization of incoming alternator with the infinite bus bar in which we covered point number 1 that the magnitude of phase voltages of incoming alternator must be equal to the magnitude of phase voltages of infinite bus bar in point number 2 we discussed that the frequency of incoming alternator must be nearly equal uh, and here we discussed that it should be slightly higher than the frequency of infinite bus bar and under condition number 3 we were discussing that the phase sequence of incoming alternator must be equal to the phase sequence of infinite bus bar. So under that we discuss one method that is by using a, a small three phase induction motor. Another way to check the phase sequence is by using light bulb methods. So now we are going to discuss these methods under this under this we will cover one dark to bright lamp method all dark lamp method all bright lamp method so let us discuss one by one so first we will discuss this one one dark to bright lamp method so the connection diagram for this method that is one dark to bright lamp method for checking the phase sequence of incoming alternator with respect to the phase sequence of infinite bus bar is shown in figure. Here we have used six lamps in pairs that is three pairs of lamps. So one pair of lamps L1 and L2 are series connected and directly connected in phase A. You can see this is phase A. Fine. Uh, still we have not connected uh, this phase directly that is the switch is open yet but we have connected this this path that is having series connected lamps l1 and l2 directly connected in phase a the other pair of pairs of lamps series connected lamps that is one pair is l3 and l4 you can see that series connected lamps l3 and l4 and another pair series connected lamps L5 and L6 are cross connected in phases B and C. You can see that this pair L5 and L6 is cross connected. That is one end is connected in phase B and another end is connected in phase C. Similarly, for this pair, you may observe that one end is connected in phase B and another end of this series connected lamps L3 and L4 is connected in phase C that is cross connection. So one pair is directly connected in a phase and other two pairs of lamps are cross connected in remaining two phases. So this is the connection diagram for this method that is one dark to bright lamp method. Before connecting uh, this switch, this incoming alternator as discussed in previous lecture also that the four points must be satisfied still we are covering the third point that is phase sequence must be equal so for that how this method is going to assure whether the phase sequence of incoming alternator is same as that of the infinite bus bar or not for that focus here we have phase voltages VA a small a VB and VC here it has been written that VA VB and VC are the phase voltages of infinite bus bar a small notations we have used for infinite bus bar and capital ABC for the phases of incoming alternator we can use any notation RYB or whatever it is and the phase voltages of incoming alternators are represented by this VA VB and VC. These phasors are rotating in anti-clockwise direction but 
the speed of rotation is not same slightly different as discussed in point number two that is frequency of incoming alternator has been set slightly higher than nearly equal so slightly higher than the frequency of infinite bus bar that's why the frequency of these phasors va vb and vc will be slightly higher with del f so f plus del f is the frequency of incoming alternator and f is the frequency of the infinite bus bar that's why the speed of rotation of these phasors corresponding to incoming alternator will be slightly higher with this magnitude del f very small let us say one percent or like that so this difference between va and va that is difference between the phase voltages of phase a that is potential drop between these two points this is vaa we can see that the potential of this point is nothing but va capital a va this one and potential of this point is this is connected with a that is va this a. so what will be potential drop across this switch that is across this pair l1 l2 say so series connected lamps l1 and l2 that will be vaa so vaa is the potential drop between lamps l1 and l2 and how to get this vaa vaa will be this phasor minus this phasor that is a phasor we know the vector addition rules very well so this will be that but thing is that these two phasors are not rotating at same frequency that's why this magnitude will vary with time depending upon the difference between the frequencies of these two fine so we have plotted at a particular moment when the situation is like that but with time the situation will change how we will discuss later before that just try to find out potential drop between lamps series connected lamps l3 and l4 see one point is connected with capital c and another one is connected with a small b so the drop will be vc minus vb vc minus vb this is vc and this is vb so vc minus vb will be equal to this one fine vcb this one so we have written here vcb is the potential drop across series connected lamps l3 and l4 one is c and another is b because of this cross connection similarly potential drop across series connected lamps l5 and l6 will be one end is connected with capital b another end is connected with a small c so that is vb minus vc v capital b so where is vb this is vb and where is a small c vc so this phasor minus this phasor will be this phasor that is vbc so these length of lengths of VAA or VCB and VBC are varying with time because of this difference del F in the frequency. Otherwise, they, this would be constant. So with time, it will vary. So it is rotating at a faster speed or rate than this because of this del F. So the moment when it will coincide with this, VAA will be zero, fine. As the lengths are same, already covered in point number one, condition number one in previous lecture, that the voltage magnitudes of the phase voltages of infinite bus bar and incoming alternator must be equal. So no need to worry, these two lengths are equal. So once once lengths will be equal and they will be coinciding that is VAA will be zero that is the potential drop between the series connected lamps L1 and L2 will be zero fine so what will happen the two lamps will be dark the moment when this phasor is coinciding with this phasor but it will cross right the moment will come so we can observe this darkness the moment when the darkness 
of these two lamps will be observed when these two lamps are dark then we can conclude that this phasor is crossing this phasor but after that moment again this VAA will be non-zero then again the two lamps will be bright fine so the moment when this phasor is coinciding this phasor this phasor will coincide this phasor and this phasor will coincide this phasor so though VAA will be zero but we can observe that VCB and VBC will be still non-zero so L1 L2 will be bright but the other pairs will be sorry L1 L2 will be dark but other pairs will be still bright so we may mark when this will be zero the moment when VAA is zero this is dark while the other pairs L3 L4 as well as another pair L5 L6 will be bright bright you may write bright fine so what will happen next the moment this is coinciding this is dark and others are bright other four lamps are bright fine once this will cross this will cross this and this will cross this so out of these two let us check which one is going to be zero first so we may say that we see that the black colored that is phase voltages of incoming alternators are running at a faster rate so with respect to this phase voltage of infinite bus bar we may say that this phasor is rotating a relative speed of del f will be observed right relative speed of this black one phase voltage phase voltages of incoming alternator with respect to phase voltage of infinite bus bar is del f fine so which one is going to be zero first vcb or vbc just think yourself see this will cross this first before this vb is crossing this you can observe the angles right we are sure that the speed of this black colored that is phase voltage of incoming alternator is faster than this one fine so this black color is going to cross blue colored phasors that is infinite bus bar phasors so vc will cross vb before vb that is black colored will cross vc because direction of rotation is anti-clockwise fine so vcb will be the next which will be zero that is vcb this one across l3 and l4 right c and b fine l3 c and l4 b fine vcb so next this will be dark whereas the other four lamps will still be bright i am writing here l1 l2 l5 and l6 after that this vb will cross vc still va has not crossed va second times before that this vb will cross vc so this time l5 and l6 will be dark for a moment all lamps are becoming dark for a moment when the particular phase voltages are coinciding whether phase a phase b phase c fine so this time dark and other four lamps l1 l2 l3 and l4 will be bright and this will happen in a cyclic way then again after this the cycle will be repeated then again this will coincide then again that is this will be zero then again this will be zero for a moment and then again this will be zero and this will happen in a cyclic way 
so this uh, the process of brightness and darkness alternately is known as flickering of the lamps so the speed of this flickering or frequency of flickering will depend on this difference del f if del f is very small then this frequency will be very small if large then it will be very large and that can be observed by us so far we discussed this phasor diagram and in this phasor diagram you may observe that the two phase sequences are same that is here we may observe v a then after that anti clockwise then b is crossing then c is crossing so the phase sequence is a b c for infinite bus bar similarly for incoming alternator the phase sequence is a b c so this cyclic flickering of lamps in this order will be observed only when the two that is incoming alternator and infinite bus bar are having same phase sequence if this order is not observed it means the phase sequence of incoming alternator is opposite to that of the phase sequence of infinite bus bar only only two possibilities are there either the phase sequences will be same or not same different right so if this order is not observed it means we are confirmed that the phase sequence of this incoming alternator is not same as that of this for that what we will do we will change any two terminals so that now the phase sequence will be exactly equal so this way we can correct the phase sequence of incoming alternator by interchanging any two terminals if it is not coming out to be same that is this order cyclic variation is not observed one more thing why we have used two series connected lamps why not single lamp the answer is here see this vcb that is voltage drop across l3 and l4 the vcb might be twice of the magnitude of phase voltage when when vb is lying opposite to this vc it means the difference will be twice of that or for this also when this vb is opposite to this vc because the two phasors set of phasors are rotating at different speed so the moment when these two phasors are lying opposite to each other either vc and vb or this small vc v small c and v capital b these two phasors are lying at that moment the voltage drop imposed across these two points will be twice of the rated voltage rated phase voltage so that might damage the bulb so to withstand that potential drop it is beneficial for us to connect two bulbs of similar rating in series so that the potential will get divided into half and half and that will be not beyond the rating of the bulbs so they will not get damaged that's why here we are using two bulbs series connected bulbs fine hope it is clear to you thank you very much